Welcome, Waffle Ball Vets! We are back with Snake Pass on the PlayStation 4. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to hopefully, if I can go really, really fast and do this beast mode, hopefully we can get through all four of these water levels today, but it's very unlikely. Purely because I'm still trying to get all of the coins for you guys. So we're going to be starting off today with the first water level, Crooked Canal. Crooked Canal. Now, level 6 is the level which you need to finish without touching the water if you want to get the no diving trophy. So, uh, what I might do is I might try and do it on camera. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I won't be able to. If I do that, we won't be able to get all of the coins. Right, now, this level, I'm not 100% sure where all of the coins are. But like I told you guys in the other video... I'm going to attempt to find all of the coins, but if I uh, if I forget too much and we waste too much time, I'm just going to leave the coin and not bother. Because uh, as I've told you in the other video, you can just use snake vision to find any missing collectibles when you finish the game. Right, I think what we're going to have to do in this level, I think we need to uh, activate some sort of switch first. Yes, I, uh, I already said that, Doodle. Oh, actually, I know where there's going to be a coin. Out here, I think. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. They look like uh, chocolate coins, didn't they? you got to love a good chocolate coin. I think Tom Wolf loves chocolate coins. Every time he got the first comment, he always asked me to buy him uh, chocolate coins. Very random thing to say. <laughs> or pizza. I've got some great people subscribed to me on YouTube. I don't have many subs, but the people that are subbed are pretty damn great, actually. They always say random things, you know. I can remember something about each of my subs, you know, like Tom Wolf and his love for pizza, Keely New One and her love for me playing horror games and torturing me. Chunky Lap is my sister, so he doesn't really can. Wolf Moon and Wolf King regularly laughing at me. Uh, Michael Smith, I think his name is, always using caps lock. <laughs> oh, dear. Coco Panda also loves me flipping playing horror games. And Tom Wolf, actually. A lot of people love me playing horror games. If you want me to play more horror games, let me know in the comments below. I'll tell you right now, though. If I do play horror games, I do expect the views. That is the one time where I expect to get a lot of likes and views. Because I'm literally playing a game I hate. Because <laughs> I'm not very good when it comes to horror. Uh, I can't remember where the... I think there was a coin in here somewhere. What are you doing? Get, get your ass out of the water, Noodle. You don't have to worry about uh, Noodle suffocating because he holds his breath for like forever when he's underwater, so don't worry. Uh, I really cannot remember, actually. I know there's going to be one that's hanging in a really annoying place. It might be uh, around here in a minute, actually. We might be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. Now, uh, you won't be getting that coin until you get near the end of the game, because there's going to be a checkpoint sort of above where we are now, and the final gem place is over there. So, you won't be getting that coin until you get to the end of the level. So, don't bother wasting your time trying to get it from here, because you won't be able to get it. Trust me, I wasted plenty of time trying. <laughs> is there a coin up here, then? No. No. I think there might be one here. Nope. Okay. Oh! I didn't even have to lead him to that wisp. He did it on his own. <laughs> he wanted to collect that himself. I wish you'd do that all the time, uh, Noodle. I think I remember there being one around here. Yep, there it is. Alright, I see how well I can do this. Just keep hold of that L2 button, you know. You really want to grip. You want to grip it really hard. Just coil yourself around a few times, you know. Get, get yourself a nice little grip. Sounds really kinky, all the stuff I'm saying at the moment. Right, now, now I'm nice and coiled around. I should be able to drop down and get the coin. And we should be able to get back up with not much aggro. Okay, now hold the cross button. I think I'm knotted up too much. 
I, I love it though, if you watch snakes in real life, it's absolutely hilarious how they can just knot themselves up so much and then just so easily they just get out, they just stop being tangled, you know. They're all tangled up in a disgusting mess, especially when snakes fight each other. I'm surprised that they both don't end up dead, just from being tied up in so many knots, but they both seem to be able to escape so easily. I'm not, I think there might be a trophy for, I don't know if, it, if you have to get the ball in there in one. It's called a hole in one. I don't actually know what the trophy is. I didn't even read it. But I think it's from just putting these in there, maybe. In one, maybe. Or maybe I'll just get it anyway. No, okay. So I think you need to hit that ball when it needs to go into the, uh, into this little hole in one. Like in golf. Obviously, I must have done it by luck the first time. We've got two coins in. Well, yeah. All right. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Don't do that, doodle. Okay, wrap ourselves around nicely. That's it. Get your face in there. I hope they make another one of these, though. I think, I mean, sort of from the ending of this game, I don't know if it suggests there might be some DLC, maybe. I mean, once I get to the ending, you guys can sort of be the judge, but it does seem like there might be some DLC for this. Which would be a pretty good idea, you know, because a lot of this game, at the, at the start of the game, like in all the grassy levels, it's not too hard, you know, because it's mostly just, it's mostly just them teaching you about the game, you know, so. It'd be nice to have like another world or something with like four more levels or something. Even if you have to pay, I mean, I'd pay a few quid for some DLC. Um, have we touched any checkpoints recently? Yeah, we touched that one over there. Right, there's going to be a coin down here, if I remember correctly. This one's a bit of a pain in the ass to get, so we're going to have to be a little bit more careful with this one. Just don't be afraid to be very fast, because there's some bits in this game where if you just absolutely go nuts and go really fast, it actually makes it a lot easier. And I'm not just saying that to trick you into dying. It actually does feel a lot easier if you just speed up. And also, just sort of tap the L2, you see, and you sort of coil around really nicely, you know, nice and tightly. It's, it's the kind of game where you, you can't explain it, you know, you just have to, you just need to buy the game and try it yourself. No, no, please don't, please don't do that, don't do that, don't be, don't be a snake all your life. Oh, come on, that's it. That's it, get up around there, that's it. Good snake, come on. Careful. Okay, that's it, wrap ourselves around a little bit. There we go. Nicely, that's it, lovely. Up here. Oh no, okay, coil yourself around. That's it, up, yep, that's it, that's it. Good snake, good snake, that's it, well done. Oh. <laughs> oh, the stress. I mean, when you play this, you can feel your ass really tensing, you know. Oh, okay, careful. We need to get up to the top here because we need to pull this switch. Okay, so the, how many we got? Right, we got three coins. Well, I know where one of them is, but there's going to be another one somewhere. Come on, all your strength, that's it. Actually, I can't I kinda remember where the other coin is. I know there's one near the ending. I don't know where. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we might need to go back to the beginning of the level. Yeah, look, can you see it? Right the way back at the starting of the level. Um, alright, we're gonna have to go back there. Uh let me get to a checkpoint first. That's a bit of a pain in the ass because we have to come all the way back. Right, let me just go to this checkpoint, and then we'll quickly go back and get it. Uh, hopefully I can get back there quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Just remember, if you want to go quickly with a noodle, make sure you uh, you actually sliver like a snake, you know, left and right like this. Just sort of go like that and you'll speed him up a bit. Yeah, nice job, Tal. Nice job. Okay. Right, I have to blast our way back over there. The animations in this game are lovely as well, you know. 
it's funny though, I think I mentioned this in one of the other Snake Pass videos, but there is a video on like, I think it was the making of Snake Pass maybe? It's on the Snake Pass channel, and they uh, talk about how they got the idea for Noodle. And it's a pretty funny video actually, how such a great idea can come from such a simple thing, you know? Okay, now let's come back up here. Hopefully nobody's using my videos as a guide to collect all the coins, because that's a terrible idea. I mean, I, I might know where all the coins are, but uh, I forget so much that we have to go back on ourselves like a hundred times, and then people will just get really furious. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I'm doing it more just to make the playthrough a bit more interesting, you know, because you don't want to just blast through it, because you could... I reckon I could get through this entire game in about 45 minutes if I was to forget everything and just go for gems. Especially now that I've got used to controlling a noodle. Okay. I reckon we should have enough time to do the next level. Yeah, because the next level I've played about phew, a million times trying to get that no diving trophy before I knew it was glitched. So I should be very good at that level. But I'm also not 100% sure where all the coins are, so that might slow me down a bit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't, don't you do it. Oh, that's it. Don't you do it. Relax. Relax. When you get into these situations where Noodle's going to fall, you've got to stay calm. Don't lose your shit. Because <laughs> you're, you're just going to end up dead. Where you could maybe even save yourself if you're careful. There we go. Got the checkpoint. Alright, now we can come through over here. Should be a little, little hole. Yep, there we go. I do like snakes though, I know some people have got like a, a fear of spike. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to say, you know in uh, one, of the, one, one of the first videos I did of this game, I mentioned that he didn't have any teeth. Well if you read the hints before the level, it actually says that Noodle is a vegetarian, so I guess that's why he doesn't have any teeth. <laughs> I've got all the gems, you know. Yeah, I've not even been paying attention to the gems. The most important part of the level is the gems, and I've not even really been paying attention. Right, there should be little... There we go. Right, this should be the last coin. That's it. That's it. Get your ass up there. That's it. Lovely. Whew, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh. There we go. Snakey wakey. 20% of the collectibles. Oh, well, I'm not going to get 100%, that's for sure. Yeah, Lazy Lagoons. This is the level that you need to finish without touching the water. It is... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't show you guys because I'm trying to get the coins and I'm pretty sure there is a few coins that you need to touch the water to get to, but it's not, it's not very difficult, you know. Just when it gets near to the end, when you're doing the final section of this level, I'll sort of show you because we have to do it the same way. But like this bit right here, you want to you wanna go around sort of like that and go sort of coil around the, the bridge. You know, so you don't touch the fence, don't touch the water. Just checking there's no coins around the beginning because we don't want to have to come all the way back again. But you just sort of pretty much just go around like this, you know. See what I mean? Look, I'm going to have to touch the water to get that coin. And then you'll just sort of go through here and then ignore all of this stuff over here. Pretty much just do it once you've got all the collectibles. But I really cannot remember this level very well because I'm so used to doing this level in like a weird way where I get the get all of the uh, where I don't touch the water so I've sort of forgotten where all the collectibles might be so if I, if I miss any I do apologize like I said though you get your snake vision at the end of the game so you'll be able to find them all very easily <laughs> see what I mean there's like a yellow symbol over there I swear that symbol just means that there's a coin nearby so if that's right then just keep an eye out for that oh dear the bloody spikes are here don't touch the spikes, whatever you do, they will kill you. They're, they're probably the most formidable en 
enemy in this game besides the wind. The wind is also very annoying. Not sure if there's any coins up here. Might be a wisp. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want you, wisp. We don't care about you. Oh, we've got the uh, checkpoint. Don't want to do that. But yeah, basically when you're doing this and you're trying to not touch the water, you want to pretty much play the entirety of this level near enough. Have it in a noodle. Hold your doodle, hold your towel. You know, because... There's uh, several bits where you have to like jump and stuff and uh, climb up things above water and because you're such a long snake, your towel can easily dip in the water and you won't even know because it's quite awkward changing the camera angle when you're busy like slivering around bamboo. So you have to be really careful, you know, because like this bit right here, just dropping down here, you know, you could drop down here like this and then your towel could land in the water. Ready? Oh, we got lucky, but that could have easily landed in the water, you know. So that's why you need to be careful. There's probably going to be a coin around here. Yeah, there we go. There's also another idol around here. If you're looking for one in this level, you have to come over here. There you go. You'll know when you've touched it, because it'll make that weird, like, tiki noise. Okay, right, let's get across this bit. I've got three minutes of this video left. <laughs> so hopefully I could get all of the uh, thingies in that time. Don't, 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 no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get over, get over. That's it, lift your head up. That's it, there we go. Now what you want to do on this bit, if you don't want to touch the water, if you go up around here, then you can sliver up that wall pretty much. And you can go straight to the next area, but obviously we're not doing that. We're going to get the, we're going to look for the coins. We we probably could have skipped this bit actually. I can't remember if there is any coins in this bit. Actually, I think there is a coin somewhere. Think? Is there a coin around here? I know there's a load of wisps in there. God, he's really annoying in the water. He, he, he moves like a bullet. Oh, come on, Noodle. Stop it. Pack it in. Get up. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. It. Coil yourself around. That's it. Lovely. Hopefully there's a safe spot around here. Nope, there isn't. Now, I think there might be a coin up there. Yeah, there we go. Now, I don't think we can get that coin until we've gone up. I think we have to wait till we get up there where that pink gem is before we can get that coin. We literally could have gone the easier way. <laughs> we could have just gone around the other way. We had no reason to go this way. We could have just... Yeah. We might have wasted a bit of time, actually. Okay, right, here comes the annoying bit, trying to move this damn ball. Mostly because it's so annoying controlling Noodle. Come oh, well. on, that's it, with your little, with your little snout or whatever you call it, your beak or something. <laughs> Not sure what that section of a snake is called. I mean, a beak sounds appropriate, but so does a snout, I don't know. That's it, lovely, gently. There we go, in the hole. Go on, that's it. There we go. I'm getting a little bit worried because I think there might be a coin in that water section that we just did. I don't know if there's like a little hidden like area. I can't remember, it's been so long. Well, it's not been so long, but it's been like two weeks, you know. And I've sort of forgotten all of the locations of the collectibles. I've just been concentrating on not dying, you know. It's like I haven't even done this area of the level for flipping ages. But I think we can probably just jump for it. Right, there we go. Wrap ourselves around quickly so we don't end up on the floor. 
There we go. Do I want to jump back across? No, fuck it. No, no, no. Don't, don't end up dead. Don't end up dead. <laughs> we'll just go back up the hard way. Okay. Right, carefully. That's it. Wrap yourself around. Oh. This is not the game you want to wear a wolf mask and play. <laughs> you really don't want to. Oh, it's so hot. In England's been really nice. I don't know about the rest of England, but down here in Merry Old Essex, it's been really sunny for, for like the past, I'd say, week. You know, which is very rare anywhere in England because we've got like the flipping most rainy, boring country in the world, I think. But, you know. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, Noodle. <sighs> mm-hmm. I never die on this bit. Why do I have to die on camera? I don't think I've ever died on this bit. Even when I didn't know how to play the game that much. Hmm. I need to slow down. It's because I need to end the video and I want to try and get this level done before I end the video. So I'm starting to rush now. Because I'm technically supposed to be on holiday now, you know, so uh, I'm recording when I shouldn't be recording, you know, just purely for you guys. I, I could easily just upload Horizon Zero Dawn every day, but, you know, I don't want to do that. Because some of you guys are enjoying this, so I want to make sure I do it, you know. Sacrificing my uh, rest for you guys, because I'm a flipping nice guy. <laughs> a really nice guy. I mean, the last video I recorded before this was the uh, the video where I, uh, what I made for April Fools. Where some of you guys thought I was going to quit YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna, if I'm completely honest with you, you know, and I'm 100% honest, you know, I, uh, I, I feel like quitting YouTube regularly. Like, very regularly. But, you know, I don't do it because I don't like letting people down, you know. And I do enjoy YouTube. I like making the videos, you know. But when you've not got an audience, it's, it kind of gets boring, you know. Because I'm already sitting, talking to myself in this room, you know. I'm sitting here right now talking to myself. So I don't want to upload it to YouTube and still feel like I'm talking to myself. When you're uploading it to a platform with, like, billions of viewers. <laughs> and you get, like, fucking 20 or something. Especially with how YouTube has become. Like, if you guys have been keeping up with the news and things like that to do with YouTube. YouTube has become a, a cesspool. A fucking cesspool, pretty much. Now on this bit, you want the bird to hold your towel. I mean, I've already fouled. My towel would have dipped in the water then. I get the feeling that I might have missed a, uh, a coin. Like on this bit right here, you also want him to hold your towel once again. Because your towel so easily dips in the water and you won't actually know about it, you know. So you get all excited thinking you've finished the level without touching the water and you've actually touched it like three or four times, you know. So when you're trying to get that no diving trophy, make sure the bird holds your towel. It makes it a little bit more awkward to control because he's, uh, when, you're, when you've got your towel held, the weights of the, of the snake feel different, you know. So it's a bit, of, bit uh, annoying to get used to. I definitely feel like we've missed a coin. I mean, I know there's a coin there. How many we got? Three, yeah. We've probably missed a coin. Actually, no, no. No, I think the coin might be inside that water down there. So we're going to get this yellow gem first. It's like, this is probably the most annoying bit for your, uh, for the no diving trophy. Because you need to, when you, when the bird holds your towel for you, you know, he, uh, he holds your towel, but the second you pick up the gem, he lets go. Because he does that sort of circling thing that he does. So it's a bit... Oh, no, come on, no, please. I'm not sure if we're going to have the, uh, the power to be able to... Oh, no, come on. <laughs> Please. I'm going to have to go all the way back up there now. Fucking hell. Let's have a look if the other coin is in here, because I think it's under this bit of bridge. Yeah, there it is. Yep, it is there. Okay. 
So I did remember correctly for a change. Right, we're going to have to make sure we get that. Maybe I'll cut this bit out. Oh, God. Flipping out. Okay, right. Let's try this again. I fell down twice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, let's try this again. I'll probably fall down again. Oh, what a shot! Lovely. Well done, Noodle. Well done, Noodle. I should have tried that the first time, but I thought it was going to be a bit risky and I wasn't going to make it. If I just trust my judgement, I wouldn't have wasted the last 10 minutes. I needed to end the video and I've gone and wasted 10 minutes falling on my ass for nothing. <laughs> well, we got all the coins at least. That's all that matters. Oh, dear. My hands are sweating like a beast. Oh, dear. Oh, look at my human hands and my wolf mask. So stupid, I know. I used to wear wolf gloves when I played uh, all of my playthroughs. So uh, if you watch some of my early things like um, Crash Bandicoot and uh, Sand Shapes, uh, I was actually playing those games which are pretty can get pretty difficult with wolf gloves on, with these weird plastic claws and stuff. So uh, yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 with wolf gloves on was pretty damn hardcore. <laughs> There we go, all the coins. Lovely. Okay, thanks for watching Wolf Wolfettes. Next time we'll probably do the next two water levels. Maybe we'll even start the fire levels. Uh, depends how well we do. But thanks for watching Wolf Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh